Hey y'all, it's Monarch Mama, and today is Thursday, and today's vlog days is going to be a true vlog. So, I've already been to the grocery store this morning, and got some groceries that we needed, and I um, was running around like crazy trying to get stuff ready for my daughter to go do her student orientation this weekend, so they finally are out the door this morning and they've gone <coughs> they're probably headed out right now he's picking her up from um, her last class today and they're gonna head straight over there to the college and it's like nine hours to get there so they're doing that right now but the other thing I did this morning was I went out to my milkweed to pick out um, leaves for the caterpillars that I have right now and the reason I don't leave them on the plant is because here in South Texas we have mosquito sprayers and so they drive through the streets and they shoot out mosquito repellent out the back end of the, of the truck. So since I moved my milkweed out and planted it towards the road, I've had several caterpillars die on me this season. <clears throat> so the only thing that I can think of is that when the mosquito man comes through that they're high up on the plant and maybe they're getting sprayed by the mosquito spray that's the only thing I come up with so anyway and the other thing I like to do is when they get big enough I like to bring them in and put them in jars so that we can see them um, wrap up in the chrysalis and then we can we can see them open up and, and release them and it's just a really really fun thing to watch anyway so this morning I went out to the milkweed to get leaves for the caterpillars that I have and I've been going out there every day and hadn't seen but just that one other caterpillar that I had showed you. And I went to pick out a leaf and this huge roly-poly caterpillar was rolling around on the milkweed. So he's been hiding out there since I've been going out there. I guess he's been in the soil um, and just coming up to eat and then going back down to the soil. So anyway, now I have six caterpillars. <coughs> I'm going to show them to you right now. So let me turn you around and I'll show you what they look like today. Okay, so I ended up getting another jar. So this is the second jar. Let me just carefully open the lid and show you what's going on under here because they're not in the jar at the bottom they're up here on the top and I'll tell you what I think is happening do you see how he's weaving back and forth I think that what's happening is he is he's making his silk pad and he's gonna he's gonna find just the right spot and he'll drop into a J hook and then uh, he'll make his chrysalis Ooh. I hope I don't smoosh him. Okay, well, I'll just leave it left like that. Okay, and then here's the other jar that I have. And there are four in here now. Can you see them all in there? These are four pretty good sized caterpillars. But none of them have come up to the top to to make their to make their J hook. So whenever that happens, I'll come I'll video it for you and so that you can see see what it looks like. Anyway, just wanted to show that to you, and I'll I'll check in with you later. Hey y'all, um, today's going to be a string of random thoughts, I think. <laughs> but I was just going to tell you that. Today is November 1st, and so that means today is the day that I do my measurements for um, my weight loss journey. And <clears throat> I had a pretty good loss anyway for this week. Uh, I had lost 1.8. If uh, you didn't watch my Weight Loss Wednesday video, I'll link it up here. But I lost 1.8 pounds over the past two weeks. And so, but today is November 1st and I've been measuring on November, uh, on the first of every month. So 
I went ahead and did my measurements and I lost about half an inch in my chest and then my hips and my waist stayed the same. I lost about an inch in each leg and maybe like an eighth of an inch in each arm, just a little bit everywhere. So I was real happy about that and um, <coughs> so yeah, that's good. 1.8 pounds for two weeks and then a little bit of inches all over the place. So I'll take it. So that's all the randomness that I have for right now. And we're just waiting for lunch to cook. I think we'll probably make some Rice Krispies in a little while. And I'll check in with you later. <coughs> About three in the afternoon. And I am melting some butter and going to make those Rice Krispie trees <coughs> for the kids. And I got the butter in and the marshmallows are in. I just have to get them all melted. And then we'll put in the rice crispy. I'm gonna watch keep watching this. And we'll come back to it in just a minute. Okay, I've got it all melted and now I've added in the six cups of rice krispies what it called for. I'm just going to mix it up. And then I've got a buttered dish over here that I'm going to pour it into. <coughs> the Rice Krispie Treats for Paul. So next, <clears throat> next thing I'll do is just get a spoon and mash them down real good into a nice form. And then we'll have Rice Krispie Treats. Hey y'all, I just wanted to talk to you for just a few minutes. It's the end of my day and so the only thing I have left to do is cook dinner. And then I have a lot to get ready for for co-op day tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. And, um, but I just wanted to let you know some of the things that are that I've been thinking about lately and what's to come. So I've been thinking about uh, January, the new year, and I've been thinking about what goals that I want to set for myself. Not a New Year's resolution because I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, but January is a nice time to have a fresh start and any time is a good time to set a goal and start with it, but I don't think I'll be ready until January. So. I will change some things between now and January, exercise-wise. Um, my daughter and I have been walking four days a week. We've been uh, walking at a track at our local community college, and the weather has not been very cooperative lately, so I was thinking that we might add some uh, light weights in and maybe do a DVD or two so that we can stay indoors and then maybe walk when the weather permits. <clears throat> Plus, I think she needs to get a little experience with weightlifting as well for her um, PE credit. So that's one of the things that I've been thinking about. Um, one of the goals that I have been thinking about setting for myself starting in January is reading um, something maybe once a month or once a quarter and some decluttering, but I'll do a, a video on that in January sometime and I'll talk a little bit more about that. But that, that's something that's been on my mind about things that uh, need to change and things that I'd like to see happen in the new year. So, Anyway, it's been a nice kind of uh, lazy day. I've just kind of puttered around the house and done some laundry and that's pretty much it. Thursdays are not um, we don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to be anywhere. We did go to the grocery store today. Um, oh, I had one more thing I need to tell you. I woke up this morning. Today is December 1st, and my goal for November was to lose three pounds. And yesterday with my Weight Loss Wednesday video, I had told you that I was just so very, very close to losing the three pounds. Well, 
this morning I woke up and I got on the scale and that I was down to um, what I wanted to be. So I did end up losing that, that three pounds in November, so I'm very happy about that. And so my next goal is to lose three pounds for the month of December. So, and on that happy note, I will go ahead and close this video. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I hope you've been enjoying the vlog -a days. I know there's lots of people that are doing that right now. And we will talk to you tomorrow.